How could he do that? It's horrifying. Tracy Grimshaw breaks her silence on a current affair reporter and proud pedo Ben McCormack's child porn disgrace. Tracy Grimshaw has broken her silence about the A Current Affair team's reaction after reporter Ben McCormack was charged by police. After hearing the disgraced journalist had been charged with sending child pornography, his former colleagues reacted with sadness, shock and revulsion. Grimshaw said she had hoped McCormack was simply a victim of a police mistake, but then saw excerpts of messages from his online discussions. When he called himself a proud pedo who was attracted to boys aged 7 13 years old, I realized it was no mistake by the police, she said on a current affair. How could he do that? It was horrifying. The revelations also raised questions about McCormack's work on pedophilia related news stories. She questioned how McCormack could have confronted Hey Dad star Robert Hughes about sexually abusing young girls. She also asked how McCormack could have provided support and comfort to child sex abuse victim Sarah Monahan while being secretly attracted children. Grimshaw said a current affair has made McCormack an open offer for an interview, but so far he has declined. However, Grimshaw highlighted the fact Judge Paul Conlon does not consider McCormack a threat to children, and said the team hopes that is true. Judge Conlon described McCormack's offending as at the lowest end of the scale and noted McCormack had sought mental help. He said he had never seen a person charged with these offenses having gone to a psychiatrist to try and deal with the problem for years before his arrest. Police did not allege there any evidence of McCormack exchanging pictures or video showing children in pornographic poses, only words. Judge Conlon said many of the factors he had to consider in child porn cases, including whether a child had been exploited or treated cruelly, were not present in McCormack's case. McCormack, 43, was sentenced to a three-year good behavior bond and ordered to pay $1,000 at Downing Center local court on Wednesday. In September he pleaded guilty to two counts of using a carriage service to transmit, publish or promote child pornography.